Namaste. Namaste! Welcome back to another vlog from Rishikesh, India with the Time Zone Junkies. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Alex and this is my wife Marlin. Guys, you might not know, but the Beatles came to Rishikesh in the 60s to learn about yoga and meditation, and they stayed in the ashram here, which is now called the Beatles Ashram, and that is exactly where we're going to go right now. We just arrived to the Beatles Ashram. It was a little bit tricky to find. Always when we're on a motorbike and we're trying to find our way, Alex always drives a little bit too far, and then we stop and we see that we've passed it. We're here now, and we're very surprised to find out that it costs six hundred whopping rupees per person for something that apparently is just in ruins and not being maintained at least that is what i have read we did manage to get a better price to go inside though they don't want us to make youtube videos in there so we're going to have to be a bit discreet about it but yeah we've got a few hours they close for entry in about 20 minutes from now but apparently you can stay in there until six o'clock so that's what we're going to be doing these meditation domes would you stay in there so in 1968 a Maharishi who was a guru here in Rishikesh invited the Beatles to come here to learn about meditation and yoga and it kind of started a global phenomenon of following of meditation and yoga that's followed and he uh, this guy who started actually started with transcendental meditation if anyone's into that There are quite a few professional photo shoots going on around here and I can see why because it's really beautiful. It's a really interesting place because you can walk around it's completely abandoned apart from obviously the people here taking pictures. Uh, actually I heard one thing about it. When the Beatles are here Ringo left after 10 days in search of proper food. <laughs> yeah. When the Beatles were here, they actually wrote 48 songs and they were included in Abbey Road, Yellow Submarine and the White Album. That's some facts for you. This building behind me is where the Beatles stayed when they were in this ashram, together with some other famous people. I don't know who they are, but their names are Mike Love, Donovan and the Pharaoh Sisters. Guys, I just found a Beatles bathtub. Check it out. I wish my dad was here, he's the biggest Beatles fan. When Alex and I lived in Liverpool, my dad came to visit and we went to the Beatles Museum and we went to the Cavern, which is a place where they used to play. But he would love coming here. Can you imagine, who used to sleep in this room? This is one of the bedrooms. Was it John? Was it George? Was it Ringo? Was it Paul? Oh, I nearly forgot the last guy then. Yeah, so who's staying here? I mean, there's a bathroom there. Who sat on that toilet? Yeah, it's really, really weird. I mean, I love the Beatles and I grew up listening to all my dad's albums. But if my dad would have been here, his experience would have been so much stronger than ours. You can see why the Beatles and the other famous people who have stayed here in this ashram really liked it up here because it's absolutely stunning. Look at the view that they had from here. It's absolutely stunning. Go through this tunnel like place full of this small little what we think are meditation rooms made of these beautiful stones. It's quite a shame in a way that this place is abandoned because imagine if this would be up and running, it would be seriously popular. But on the other hand, it's quite nice that it is abandoned because it gives us this mystical, very special feel. And all the light that is coming in from all the places that we've been in so far because of missing roofs etc just gives us such nice light. It's such a photogenic place to be if you want to take photos, if you want to make little films, whatever. It's absolutely stunning here. Guys, do you remember the 
I said earlier that I grew up with a dad who's a big Beatles fan and I actually myself became a fan of Beatles and I used to listen to all their music. When I moved out of my parents' house, I got all of my dad's albums and I used to play them on repeat. I've even read like lots of books that reminds me of Beatles because I used to play their music in the background whilst reading. Even though I have listened to all these Beatles music, I knew very little about them as people. I had no idea about Richard Cash and that they stayed in a nest from here. So do you remember earlier we had a bit of a problem getting in because we didn't actually have the full 600 rupees each. We only actually had 1,000 rupees on us. So when I tried to explain to him that we've only got 1,000 rupees and we want to make a YouTube video about this place, he was like, oh, no, 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 no YouTube videos. Please don't film YouTube videos. <laughs> Oops. And anyway, he said it was punishable and I asked what punishable for you or punishable for me. He said punishable for us. So I'm not really sure what that means. Honestly, guys, do you know anything about that? Because we have watched so many YouTube videos from this Beatles ashram and we've heard nothing about it. We've read nothing about it. There are no gods in here. How would they possibly know what people do when they're in here? If you have any idea, if they have told you the same thing when you've come here with your camera, let us know in the comments below. I have to say that the buildings here look pretty funky. Just look at the doors on this building and there are several floors of it as well. Love to stay in one of them. Alex, should we just bring our sleeping bags here, our sleeping mats, and just sneak in here at night and enjoy this place? I actually think it would be kind of creepy at night because this kind of hotel building or hotel style building is completely abandoned. There are just corridors, like something out of a horror film. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm up for that, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> When you get on top of this dome, the ladder actually carries on down vertically. There's a hole inside where you can go in and it's, it's like an extra room. Uh, there are no windows out of it. I'm not really sure what point of it is. Uh, maybe for punishment or like a psychedelic room. Who knows? But uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to go up. Coming back down is going to be interesting. There you go. He's going in! Are you going in? I'm going in. It's not attached to the bottom. Alex climbed up this dome behind me. He said something about putting people in there for punishment. I've got no idea what he freaking meant. I was just making a joke. Did you get that joke? Because I didn't. Because sometimes Mr. Funny Guy here makes jokes that, I don't know, I don't at least understand them. Uh, no, who does? I would like to add one point about all of these little kind of domes on top they've got mosaics on the outside of them it's really very impressive if you guys know something about us you know that we've done mosaics before and we actually did it in Thailand and it's not easy I will tell you and it's very time consuming so these are really incredible and the mosaics that we did were inside of domes yeah. just like these ones but rounder maybe they got the inspiration from this Maybe, yeah, it's very possible. It's quite similar. This has actually been a highlight of my trip in India. It was worth the money to come in here. It's just incredible. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be worth it. I got a little bit upset when I found out or saw the big sign saying 600 rupees per person if you're a foreigner. Indian people think, I think, pay 150 rupees, mm. I think, uh, which is a much fairer price to be honest anyway guys we're gonna end the video here and you know the drill if you have liked it you give it a thumbs up 
if you haven't subscribed already you hit that little subscribe button it's red you can also hit another button right next to it which is a little bell button and if you press that one you will get notified every time we upload a video so that is very important right what else also drop a comment do you guys like the beast halls would you love to come here it's a pretty incredible place you guys should definitely come and check it out Come on, the Beatles have yeah. stayed here. It's quite yeah. a big thing, especially if you're from Europe. And if you're an Englishman, I guess even more so. Oh, yes. And if you have special. studied in Liverpool, <gasps> even more so. Yeah, and definitely. if you have lived in Liverpool, I have too for a little bit. Yeah. Yes, it's worth it. There's another thing as well. We've mentioned it many, many times. We've got a Patreon page. You can head over there and have a look. We will link to it below and at the end of this video. It's a page where you can donate a few dollars to us every month and you will get something in return. This way we can stay on the road for longer. We can invest more time and more money in making these videos for you guys and we can upgrade our equipment. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome new subscribers. And if you made it to the end of the video, good job. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. 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 But the fall on the hill sees the sun going down and my eyes in his head sees a world spinning around.